Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and this is already the part 7 of our top 10 succulent series and if you haven't watched yung part 1 to part 6, you can check the links below sa ating comment section and today we're gonna be featuring yung ating top 10 succulents na fast growers or yung mga succulents natin na napakabilis dumami this is based on my personal experience with them and I just wanted to share it to you the very first one would be our turtle vine. When I first got this before, token size lang siya, yung typical na nabibili natin sa mga garden shops. But right now, in just several months, parang wala pa nga siyang one year or sabihin na natin almost one year na siya. And 50 times na yung kanyang growth as compared doon sa kanyang pinaka-original na size. Itong ating mga turtle vine, they will just continuously grow. Ayan, may kita ninyo, nakakapit na lang siya dito nga sa ating pinaka-wall. It doesn't mean na dapat nakalagay siya or grown sa ating mga soil. Ayan, so as long as we're gonna be providing it nga with regular watering kasi gustong gusto niya yung nauulanan or nababasa siya then it would definitely continuously grow and in no time siguro itong buong wall na to kung saan siya nakalagay would be filled with turtle vines second would be our crested luella it comes in this color in a light green to light yellow green in color and if fully stressed nga siya it will be giving us a very beautiful light pink na shade and ito naman mabilis din siyang dumami and in no time nga if hindi nyo siya papansinin or titignan for quite some time magugulat ka na lang kasi the next time you're gonna be checking on it ang dami niya ng bagong offsets and yung kanyang size nga would definitely grow or double in just several months look at this one talagang entirely nga yung ating buong pot is already filled nitong ating crested luella and we have to repot it as soon as possible once again sa sobrang bilis niya mag-produce ng new offsets we cannot even see yung kanyang pinaka stem anymore next is our graptivaria purple dream napansin ko sa succulent na ito na if for example may existing condition siya for example may fungal disease siya hindi siya ganun kabilis lumaki but once we're gonna be treating that one and once naging established na nga itong purple dream na ito then you would be expecting na it will just continuously grow and produce its offset. Sa ngayon, we can see siguro about 50 different resets or probably more than 50 resets yung nandito sa ating pinaka pot. Kasi if we're gonna be having this top view, almost ma-fill in niya na nga yung ating pinaka pot. I'm not so sure if yung pinaka resets nila would be just this big kasi maliliit lang yung kanyang pinaka reset but since ilang months na din itong ating purple dream sa atin I could say na probably ganito lang talaga yung kanilang mga sizes. Next is we have our Chiveria elegans. Isa ito sa mga succulents talaga na napakabilis lumaki. I can remember before single reset lang itong ating elegans na ito yung mga kasabayan niyang Ichiverias still they only have 2 or 3 offsets pero itong ating elegans they do have a lot of offsets so all around it talaga punong puno na nga siya ng offsets sa ngayon and another thing about our Ichiveria elegans is that they require yung frequent repotting kasi nga as I've mentioned mabilis silang lumaki kaya you really need to repot it as soon as possible or better if ilalagay nyo na lang siya into a bigger pot para maiwasan natin yung pag repot ng too often Another Ichiveria in our top 10 list would be our Ichiveria Chrissy and Ryan. Isa din ito sa ating mga fast growers and not only that they are fast growers but they are also good at producing offsets. Literally, yung kanilang pinaka offsets kasi yung stems nila would be like branching out from our pinaka mother na succulent. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, yung kanya mga pinaka rosets ay parang nakalabas sila kasi it has this very long na stem. Ayan, ganyan yung kanyang itsura sa ngayon. And so, yung mga offsets na nakikita natin sa ngayon can be separated. We can already cut them and plant them in their own separate na pot. And if we're gonna be giving them about one or two months time, they would definitely reach their adult or mature size. I must also say na itong ating mga Chrissy and Ryan are also perfect para sa ating mga beginners sa succulents. 
I have also included in this list yung ating dikebrevifolia or commonly known as the saw blade. They are semi-succulent kasi they don't really store water sa kanilang pinaka-leaves. But nevertheless, napakabilis niya ngang lumaki. You might be thinking na parang very slow grower siya kasi nga yung kanyang appearance would be parang characterized as those of nung ating mga Haworthias. Ganong style siya pero... I was really surprised kasi if you're just gonna be leaving it in a rain or shine area, it will just continuously grow and keep producing offset. Sa ngayon, you would see na talagang all over punong-puno siya ng offsets and we cannot even distinguish kung sino nga ba dyan yung ating pinaka-mother plant already. We also have our Echeveria mini bell but this one is the variegated mini bell. Ang maganda dito sa ating succulent na to is that they are branching out literally for us to have this kind of look. Napakaganda niyang tingnan and aside from that one, they are also considered as fast growers based on my personal na experience sa kanya. There are times na na-infect ito ng ating fungus but when I started to treat it and I did a lot of several cuttings, from these pinaka mother na plant and as a result nga nagkaroon pa nga siya ng napakadaming offsets yung mga offsets niya could possibly grow this big yung ganitong sizes in just one or two months time napakabilis talaga and so i do love propagating nga itong ating mga mini bell we do have our sedum clavatum once again i think we have featured this many times in our top 10 cure guide series but this time, we will be featuring it as a fast-growing na succulent. Ayan siya. There are a lot of offsets kung saan ka man tumingin from the back part, front part, even from the top part. Punong-puno na nga siya ng kanyang pinaka-offsets. Ayan sila. And I really don't know what to do with it anymore kasi nga they are just clumping and overlapping each other. You would see na may mga tiny resets tayo dyan, may mga malalaki. Itong ating sedum clavatum is not even one year sa atin. Probably it's already 8 months or 9 months old under our care and with that short amount of time, talaga namang napakadami niya ng offsets and it's literally growing so fast. For our ninth spot, we're gonna be featuring two graptopetalums and una nga dyan is we have our Mirine. We have featured this many times before and as I kept on saying talagang napakabilis nga ding dumami nitong ating succulent na ito. Not just that they love to propagate but they grow so fast yung mga leaves niya in just siguro one month. Makikita nyo na yung talagang malaking progress ng kanyang leaves or yung kanyang pinaka offsets. And another one in our ninth place would be our Mendoza na kapareho lang ng ating Mirine. Ayan, they are also prolific growers. I have a lot of cuttings na ginawa dito sa kanya and each cutting now would reach and produce its own offsets in just 2 to 3 months time. Lastly, we do have our Graptoveria marpin or also known as the pretty in pink na succulent. Ito naman, they are very low maintenance na kahit na nakalagay sila sa poor nutrient na soil, they would just literally grow on their own. Lahat na aking mga marpin or most of them nakalagay pa sa ating mga nursery black pots na yung plastic. Ayan, but even if na ganyan pa yung kanilang lalagyan sa ngayon, they will just be continuously growing yung kanilang offsets and yung kanilang pinaka offsets really grow so fast in just a few months. And that's all for our top 10 succulents na fast growers. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.